Sometimes the best plans are the ones you ultimately scrap. The ones that you change paths or directions on. Sometimes just because you might have something in mind, you might have this grand design, that doesn't mean that it's ultimately okay to stick to that plan no matter what. Sometimes the environment you're in changes. Sometimes the factors change. Whatever the case might be, WWE, I feel like, has that type of scenario right now. And I don't know what the original plans were for Daniel Bryan, the WWE Championship at WrestleMania, but after Sunday night at Elimination Chamber, the solution is staring you smack dab in the face. This is not hard to figure out. You heard the crowd. You saw the reaction on social media. Sometimes things just become so glaringly obvious that you would have to be incredibly obtuse and ridiculous to not understand it, recognize it, and alter your path appropriately. Hashtag Kofi for WWE champ. Vince, I implore you. You must do this. Kofi Kingston versus Daniel Bryan for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania 35. I know you'll probably blow your load and screw the pooch and try to do it at Fastlane. Because you can't freaking wait. You know what? Fine. Do that match there. Have somebody interfere. So that way, it doesn't happen there. You've got... This great fit. Like, the fans Sunday night on a night that was kind of bleh, and the fans were kind of bleh, they felt it. They believed in the dream of it. They effing wanted it! Don't tell me it didn't mean something to the fans. Even the thought or the illusion that a black man like Kofi Kingston could become WWE Champion. Look at how the people popped when he pinned Randy Orton over some bullshit from almost a damn decade ago. When the fans started to realize that this could happen, that this was a possibility, they were awake, alert, ready. They got caught up in the moment, suspended their disbelief. They could be just fans. And it's so rare to actually get that with today's wrestling, and especially from WWE. The thought of Kofi Kingston winning that match, even though most fans believed it wasn't going to happen, they were able to suspend that disbelief and fantasize about the possibility of the potential of that reality maybe for what's actually coming true. And it touched people, man. It moved them. They could feel it. They could taste it. They wanted it. And sure, there were some, plenty, that were disappointed that it didn't happen. And I realized, maybe you've got something different, originally in mind. But F it! For a WrestleMania show that on the surface right now looks like it's significantly going to be lacking in marquee matches and really interesting, compelling stories, you stumbled into one with Kofi Kingston. He's been with the company over a freaking decade. He's never been the champion. When you talk about making history and first and all of this, let's look at the history that would be made with having a guy like Kofi Kingston become WWE champion. When you think about the black men that have held world titles in WWE, it is a very, very, very short list. And when you throw out Booker T and Mark Henry's World Heavyweight Championship reigns, holding the second tier title in that company, you've basically got The Rock, and The Rock doesn't even really count because the fucking Rock and the WWE don't count him. Every time you turn around, we're talking about his Samoan lineage and his Samoan heritage. So just like Roman Reigns, he's a fucking Samoan champion. If you don't like that, eat shit. For a company who has such a sizable contingent of fans that are black, that might, I don't know, every once in a fucking while, want to see one of their own at the very top, combined with other demographics of minorities that also watch their product that might say, hey, you know what, I could get down with that. And some of the SJW whiteys that'll sit there and be like, yeah, that's right. After all these years, they finally did it. And then they can go back feeling good about themselves and like the WWE and the country aren't really not racist after all. 
but the story tells itself. You don't really have to do shit to make it work. And when you talk about WrestleMania, your biggest show of the year, Vince, one of your biggest things has always been that you want to send the people home happy. And think about all the things you could do. The possibility of Seth Rollins beating Brock Lesnar and becoming Universal Champion. Probably will make a lot of fans happy. Becky Lynch and Ronda Rousey potentially main eventing that show. Women main eventing WrestleMania for the first time ever. That's probably going to make a lot of fans, a lot of people happy. Get you a lot of positive mainstream press. Well, what the fuck is going to make fans any happier and give you more positive mainstream press? And talk about the change in your company. And talk about all these things. And talk about what the future looks like. Then a black man like Kofi Kingston winning the WWE Championship at the biggest show of the year. And if your concern is, well, if you have Seth win and you have Becky win and then you have Kofi win, it might take away from Kofi's win or all the others. Fuck it at this point. Who cares? You got a show that's like five, six goddamn hours long anyway. What the hell difference does it make? But one in the beginning... Put one towards the end, and then the other one main eventing. You'll figure it out. The fans, frankly, are going to need that fucking shot of adrenaline anyways. The whole story sells itself. And for those of you that will sit there and scoff or kaffaw at somebody like Kofi Kingston winning a major belt like the WWE Championship and at the biggest show of the year, excuse the fuck out of me, but you've had WWE and World Heavyweight Champions or Universal Champions, the likes of guys like fucking Finn Balor and Dolph Ziggler. And if you're telling me that they were more infinitely qualified than Kofi Kingston, bend over, stick your head up your ass, and suck a dick, if that's even physically possible. Do it, because you're a moron. You've had people like Alberto Del Rio, who couldn't draw flies to shit, literally get world championship opportunities because of their lineage, because of their heritage, because of their skin color, save for fucking Jinder Mahal. In this particular case, I suppose, Vince, WWE, you do it with Kofi Kingston, not because of his skin color, but in spite of his skin color. Because the simple fact of the matter is, is if Kofi Kingston was white and you look at so many of these other guys, these mediocre ass guys that you've had win world championships, and you look at Kofi Kingston, what the hell is the difference? And I know that's not the greatest standard in the world to have at this point, but damn it all, Kofi is one of those guys that fans respect. Kofi is one of those guys that has put in his time, he has paid his dues for 11 plus goddamn years. If not now, when? If not now, will it ever? So many things in wrestling have been done over and over and over again. And in a situation where you lack for new, interesting, compelling, unique type of stories, here's the chance for one. It's falling into your fucking lap. Like, imagine wasting this spot on somebody like Mustafa Ali. Give me a break. Maybe the fans would have cared a little bit. But Kofi Kingston had people damn near moved to fucking tears over fake scripted wrestling. I don't care what you do. I don't care how you do it, Vince. This is the call. Hashtag Kofi for WWE champ. And even if you say that's not part of your long-term plan, fuck it. Give the people what they want at WrestleMania. Put the fucking strap on him. And if you want to go right back to Daniel Bryan or somebody damn else, you can do it later anyway. It won't change the fact that Kofi had that moment. It won't change the fact that so many fans got to experience that moment and live vicariously through Kofi and use that as a way to potentially start to change the way they feel about wrestling and start to turn the corner from so many things that WWE has been about for so many damn years. If you want to talk about being an inclusive company and you want to talk about fucking women matter, well, last time I checked, the black band matters too. This is a chance to do something different. This is a chance to get noticed. This is a chance to get some real positive press and reward a guy who has done so much in your company for over a decade, eating shit like the taste of it, taking a stupid gimmick initially like the New Day and help get it fucking over. I couldn't think right now personally, my opinion of a more deserving guy to be a world champion, when you look at the current WWE climate, that has not already been one, then Kofi fucking Kingston. 
The choice is obvious, Vince. As I've reminded you time after time after time, you listen to me, you make them stars. You don't listen to me, you just blow me another fucking opportunity. I promise you. You put Kofi Kingston in that WWE Championship match at WrestleMania one-on-one -on -one against Diana Bryant, and you have him win that fucking strap, that place is going to fucking explode. It will be the arguably highlight of the night and will go down in history as one of the truly great, memorable WrestleMania moments of all time. And before those idiots that are going to sit there and talk about me cucking and this and that, I don't give a shit what you say. There is something to be said sometimes about having good enough fucking business sense to recognize the tea leaves and chop them up and drink that son of a bitch. What are you going to do otherwise? Samoa Joe? You can always do that later. AJ Styles, been there, done that. What, bring back Batista? Hey, I'd be happy to see Batista, but at this point, shit, I'd rather have him face Brock Lesnar than I would fucking Daniel Bryan. You can find something else for a guy like a Batista or some of these other guys to do. The only thing that would make this better is if Randy Orton was going into WrestleMania as the WWE Champion. Then I promise you, the fans would believe it. I promise you, the fans would feel it. The fans would be erect over it. And I would give them absolutely no shade for doing so because I would feel the same damn way. There's only one thing. One thing you've got to do. Hashtag Kofi for WWE champ. It's got to be this way, Vince. Be smart enough to recognize while it wasn't maybe initially your plan, it is the only option you have, the best option that you have. Kofi Kingston must face Daniel Bryan for the WWE Championship and win that son of a bitch at Wrestle Fucking Mania.